So if you grew up in Lexington, Virginia in the 1980s and you wanted to throw a great slumber party, uh, you needed two things in fourth grade. You needed somebody to steal from their father a copy of Hustler, and you needed someone to steal from their mother a copy of Judy Bloom's book Forever. <laughs> and failing um, the availability of somebody's mother having it, you had to steal it from the public library. Judy <laughs> Bloom also gave us the best slumber party mantra ever, and you guys have to do this with me because you'll remember it. And they're arm motion, okay? Because we must, we must. <laughs> We must increase our bust. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. And then there was this whole um, group of Judy Bloom books that you could actually read in fourth grade and do book reports on. And this was one of them, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. And this is the book that when I read it, I realized that I had to be in alliance with all the girls and not tease them for bleeding and boobs that th those were off limits. One week later, Gretchen got it. We had a special preteen sensations meeting that afternoon. I got it last night, she told us. Can you tell? Oh, Gretchen, you're lucky, Nancy shrieked. I was sure I'd be first. I've got more than you. Well, that doesn't mean much, Gretchen said knowingly. How did it happen, I asked. Well, I was sitting there eating my supper when I felt like something was dripping from me. Go on, go on, Nancy said. Well, I ran to the bathroom, and when I saw what it was, I called my mother. And she yelled that she was eating. <laughs> and, well, I yelled back that it was important. So, so, so uh, she, she came and I showed her. Then what? Well, she didn't have any stuff in the house. She uses Tampax herself, so she said she had to call the drugstore and order some pads. What did you do in the meantime? I kept a washcloth in my pants. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> well, I had to, Gretchen said. Okay, so then what? Well, in about an hour, the stuff came from the drugstore. Then what? My mother showed me how to attach the pad to my underpants. Oh, you know. Nancy got mad. Look, Gretchen, did we or did we not make a deal to tell each other absolutely everything about getting it? I'm telling, aren't I? Not enough, Nancy said. What does it feel like? Mostly, I don't feel anything. Sometimes it feels like it's dripping. It doesn't hurt coming out, but I had some cramps last night. Bad ones, Janie asked. Not bad, just different. Lower down and across my back. Does it make you feel older, I asked. Naturally, Gretchen answered. My mother said, now I'll have to really watch what I eat because I've gained too much weight this year. And she said to wash my face well from now on with soap. <laughs> and that's it, Nancy said? That's the whole story? I'm sorry if I've disappointed you, Nancy, but really, that's all there is to tell. Oh, one thing I forgot. My mother said I may not get it every month yet. Sometimes it takes a while to get regular. Are you using that private lady pad? I asked. No, the drugstore sent teenage softies. <laughs> well, Nancy said, I guess I'll be next. Janie and I looked at each other. We guessed so, too. <laughs> when I got home, I told my mother, Gretchen Potter got her period. Did she really, my mother asked. Yes. Well, I guess you'll begin soon, too. How old were you when you got it, Mom? Uh, I think I was 14. 14? That's crazy. I'm not waiting until I'm 14. <laughs> I'm afraid there's not much you can do about it, Margaret. Some girls menstruate earlier than others. I had a cousin who was 16 before she started. I'll die if it takes that long. If you don't start by the time you're 14, I'll just take you to the doctor. Now stop worrying. 
How can I stop worrying when I don't know if I'm going to turn out normal? Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Gretchen got her period. I'm so jealous, God. I hate myself for being jealous, but I am. I wish you'd help me out just a little. Nancy's sure she's going to get it soon, too. And if I'm last, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, please, God, I just want to be normal. Nancy and her family went to Washington over Lincoln's birthday weekend. I got a postcard from her before she got back, which means she must have mailed it the second she got there. It only had three words on it. I got it. I ripped that postcard into tiny shreds, and I ran to my room. There was something wrong with me. I just knew it, and there wasn't a thing I could do about it. I flopped onto the bed and cried. Next week, Nancy would want to tell me about her period and about how grown up she was. Well, I didn't want to hear her good news. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Life is getting worse every day. I'm going to be the only one who doesn't get it. I know it, God. Just like I'm the only one without a religion. Why can't you help me? Haven't I always done what you wanted? Please, just let me be like everyone else. Thanks. <laughs>